Hello everyone, uh, this is Betamix. I just want to show you uh, the tools I've been working on for my uh, game. I do all my game development in Houdini. So I'm just going to hide that guy that I was uh, actually making. But I wanted to make, uh, I need to make this uh, really weird bosses for my game. They are all kind of made of, of spare parts and stuff like that. That's kind of the concept of the game. So I had this huge library of objects that I've been collecting over the years and I was doing uh, a few, I, I did the initial bosses with that but it was kind of hard just uh, going uh, into the uh, library trying to find a piece and I can find just a way to, to really just see a preview. I, I found an application that was like uh, I could browse the OBJs but it was really difficult to just get that OBJ into Houdini, place it around, move it, etc. So I'll figure that I, I, I just needed to do a tool for that. It will actually help me. And I wasn't sure if I, it was going to be like uh, really uh, good or it was actually going to help me. But it turns out it did. I was just uh, finishing the tool like in, on Friday and, and just sitting in computer for a few minutes. I just made three things that could be like one of the bosses on, on on the game so it's really cool so this is the main uh browser here on the side you can scroll and just see all the pieces you want to import but the main thing that these guys create is actually an asset that it's actually loads the piece and moves the piece around etc so let me show you what i'm uh, doing here i'm going, gonna go with boss number one here which is just these guys all are just sketches that could be in the game could not be it just it's just ideas it's just basically sketching in 3d so uh, i'm just getting ideas seeing around what works what not um, so this is uh this is the main asset that loads the pieces let me just show you that one so you can see these are just a pair of legs, but this is actually just one leg. I'm just mirroring that. So the asset has built-in mirroring, so it just makes it easy for me to just do this. And instead, of, instead of just mirroring the node, moving around the node, etc., just moves the node. Move. I, I just mirror the node in in the asset. I just added uh, orientation axis for the piece. So let's say that uh, the piece is in another. Like this is the default way it will be in the library because it was created in some other application then i can just move it around now that's not the correct axis i needed to oh that's the one so i just did that and then i just oh i want to mirror it because i want two of those legs so I just move those around like that and actually i just i just uh, noticed that this is in the inside i want that in the outside so i just want to put it flip it around there we go uh, so yeah so you can see this detail outside of the leg so then I just uh, duplicated with a transform and added another pair of legs here so this is another one of those assets uh, which is just some weird piece maybe a turret or robot head or something uh, just deleted a part of it uh, here and then just put it in the middle there and so like oh this kind of looks like a dog it could bend could move like a dog uh kind of has like a tail already here uh it would be fun to do and and my approach is doing exagger really exaggerated things so this kind of works for that and then i just get the got this other piece here and duplicate it again mirror it and just made those like ears and you can see really quick we have and an idea of could be something that could be in the game uh let's get to the next one which is this guy which is i don't think it's finished yet uh need to put some more stuff on it but this is a quick idea of something that could be like a car something that could move like a car and it's actually something that i haven't considered I wasn't considering to add to the game something that will move like a car, but once I started designing this, I was like, oh, this is a good idea, actually. Um, doing something that moves like a car in the game, that will be fun. It will be fast, it will be have a lot of uh, features that a good boss will have. So you can see I have this piece, uh, Just I just mirrored here with uh, this, I don't know why, 
Oh, uh, I think yeah, I think we have Sai uh, transformed it really weird. This one, uh, and then these things will serve some kind of a uh, space uh, tires, and the centerpiece will just really thought like a like a center of the car or something like that. So I'll just put those together, and you kind of have like a car thing here. So that's still in the progress might work might not so this one here i think it's the one is more most more complete than the than the other two so you can see there's a lot of complexity here and i just did a few things uh, so that's my thing since i'm the uh, basically the only developer on the game i want to add a lot of detail of stuff with a little bit of a uh, not too much uh effort so the uh start with this piece actually actually i think i got the leg spheres first which pretty cool set of legs there uh then i added something to be like a main core of the body this it's like a hinge or something but i just put it on the side and it was looking cool cool for a uh main core body then found this piece for arms um then some cool guns on top of course and uh, the uh boss sauce on the front because just these arms were a little bit uh, too soft to be scary so i just added those guys there in front which is pretty cool uh then some little bolts here on the top kind of a, a notch to frankenstein that i really kind of like so uh this is one that it's pretty damn cool. I have a lot of ideas how to, to how this is gonna move, how it's gonna shoot, how it's gonna be attacking you, which is pretty cool. It's helping me a lot to develop uh, the character of these bosses, uh, all from just being uh, dropping pieces here in Houdini. So this is a sketch I did uh, uh, recently. I was just trying to record this video and I uh, just this, 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 did this really quick. So I'm going to show you how I do some of these guys. Let me just create a new geometry node. Just call this sketch and it's going to need create a new sketch. Get inside the lead that stuff. So uh, if you haven't noticed, the viewprint Houdini is pretty damn cool for this. I made a, uh, let me just, uh, made a, a cool shader for, um, for the viewport so it looks really similar to to unreal uh to unreal's uh shader i just create one of these nodes i'll just click on this asset library whatever you click is going to be put into the center of the world here you can see the uh if i want this piece to be flipped I could just adjust the uh, properties that's not the correct axis i want that one that's the axis the axis i want so that's a really cool piece you can see i have uh, different ways to uh change the normals the way it is a, a way i developed for the best way to have normals in games when you have normal maps uh this way is the houdini way which just makes uh sharper uh corners which is really cool to work in the viewport but it's not as good for normal maps and you can see uh, there's just a transform tab. You can modify a few things here for the asset. Uh, uh, the materials you can change, of course. You can make it even more, uh, more, uh, more mirror-like, I guess. So you can uh, just uh, play with the settings here. So so you are just working happily here i just uh have mine to what i'm uh good with so if you want, don't want that much uh environment you can just turn it off use that as the uh as the, your working template you can just maybe dial down the the color etc but it works pretty pretty cool it just looks amazing the continue viewport looks pretty cool it's pretty damn close to uh, Unreal and actually I got that em environment uh, It's the actual Unreal environment. I just got it from the engine put it here uh, Then uh, maybe this will be 
I don't know, maybe like a spaceship. This is, has this uh, widget embedded, so I don't have to t go to the ser to the uh, transform tab and move this guy around. It's just just want to do it quickly and design quickly. Uh, maybe I want some arms for this. Uh, this looks like an arm. If I just if I don't have this selected and just click another one, it will just create me a new. Oh, that's actually an arm. A new piece. So let's just merge these two. I uh, should actually maybe merge these pieces auto magically. Um, so this arm is it's. It, let me see what's home. It's in the right direction. So let me just mirror it so I can have two and put like some space in there. Move it up. This could be like a really weird robot. Uh, maybe. A little bit more space in the mirroring. Move a little bit by hand. That's too much. I don't like floaty arms. For now, maybe. I don't know. So again, I'm just exploring ideas here. Um, and that could be some kind of arms there. Here we go. Right. Um now maybe i want to add something else i just don't like this uh weird uh color just change it uh orange, orange for some reason that's that let me add something else i don't know guns uh, let's see uh maybe some details like this plate here split just make it bigger where are you? Let me just put this plate somewhere. Hmm, doesn't fit. So this piece, I could just switch it really quick. So let's just keep those notifications on. Um, just by clicking, I have that asset selected. If I just click something else, it's just gonna replace it. That one's really big, so I'm just click something else. So there we go. I just replaced that piece. And this one will be actually useful, so. And you can see these pieces actually just combine them, combining them just give me really good ideas actually. So I'm just gonna make this bigger so it fits the round area. This could be like a gun or something. I don't know. Maybe. Can you just kill it down? It's like a helmet now. That could be something. So let me just plug that that one in there as well. I don't know what else can I use this one. What is it? Uh, it's that same piece I had for the other one. Could use it. I'm not going to. Again, I don't want. I don't need to delete it. I just select it, and I can just click another piece, and it's just gonna be replaced. Uh, it's inside there. And let's see. Let's get something else that we can add to this guy got all sorts of pieces here so again you can just click the pieces and just start moving them around designing in 3d space actually so this could be maybe something like ice Let me just flip it around that could work yeah could maybe do this, uh, flip it and mirror it. Uh, where is it? Uh, I don't see it. Flip it in. Why? Maybe. Uh, it just rotated that thing uh, weird. Could be something like ice. Like this could be something funky or funny. Well, I just did wireframe. Something like that. That could be. That's funny, but it's just weird as well. So could work. Could maybe get these guys to line up with this, and uh, it would work. Uh, Maybe get this guy. 
Uh, that's not the one. Move it closer to that. You can see I'm just even these pieces were not even close to being designed uh, together, and they kind of fit already there. You can see this pieces from from here, and sorry, kind of looking like eyes. So that's that's how I'm designing the stuff and how the asset uh, browser that I made it's uh, doing its work it's pretty cool actually so I can maybe add one more piece to this uh, mm -mm -mm, something more dangerous like a gun I know I have guns here somewhere just find something that would look like a gun like a gun. This not, doesn't have to always be a gun. Just something that looks like a gun. It just looks dangerous and you can shoot like lasers and stuff like that. See, there's all sorts of pieces here and it just makes it really, really quick to just go through this um, and just find something quick. This looks like guns. So I think that's really heavy. It's a thinking. No, there it is. Where is it? Ah, there it is. It's really small. Just make it bigger so let's just again switch it and maybe even uh, do two of those because we have two sides of course let's put them maybe down here So again, this is just concept uh, design, so it doesn't have to be uh, all makes sense and stuff. And since it's space stuff, it just makes will make some kind of sense later. Just make this back to the original color. Wait, no, I want to go to default. Uh, all right. Oh, I had this down. All right, that was that's why. Is it? Yeah. All right. That was what. That was what I wanted. All right. So you can see that's that's what I'm doing. That just getting pieces uh, around, moving them around, designing this thing really quick. So that's it, guys. That guys, that's what I'm doing for my game, and that's the tools I've been doing for Houdini. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys later. Cheers.